So we're going to replace a CV on a Ford Everest today. Um, got to put back in the factory one that I just brought. Um, I've got some cheapy ones in the moment, but they're creaking and groaning and they seem to fail very, very quickly. So some of the bits and pieces we need are um, critical bits, uh, 36 mil, um, um, whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> undo the nut. Breaker bar. This makes life easy. Rattle gun. Um, this is a, um, it's called a ball joint. Um, so for pulling apart a ball joint, makes life easy. Um, you know, you want a, um, uh, a jack, um, it's a trolley jack. You probably want two trolley jacks. Um, just it'll make life easy, and you'll see why later on. Um, and another assorted bits and pieces uh, from that side of things. Um, the nut for the drive shaft. So normally that has a it's been um, nicked in here, pressed in here to stop it from undoing itself. But because I've been um, replacing these, the last time I didn't bother putting it on because it's a pain to, to, to loosen it off. So we got to undo this first, um, and then we can because we need the weight of the car and the brake to to get it because it's done up pretty tight. Let me just, just loosen it up, not all the way. Probably not. That's gonna go back up, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, there. yeah, the reason we use that that point there is just that it, um, it's lifting suspension to get the tire off, and then we can adjust up and down uh, later on. We'll see what we need to do. So, so like that. Actually, the top hasn't moved. Cars in here and the top one begins. So just that top again. Top again. Tires off the ground, yep, that's all we need. Alright, I mean if when you're undoing you can be on. Lift that? Probably not. <laughs> Give it a go. Not like that. Huh? That's very light. You can leave that, right? That's it. Yep, roll it over there. Um, so things we got to undo in here, we get a um, that ball joint's got to come off, the brake caliper has to come off, um, the um, sway bar link has to come off, um, and we undo these brake bits. That's not okay. He's Right, so we just grab the set of zip tie up because we've got to hang the um, caliper from this just to keep weight off the um, brake line.
cool. Okay, undo this top one. Just as it comes towards the end, it's going to um, break calibers get a start to fall. Yeah. That just gets it out of the way. Give me that. Pass me that. No, the um. Some tension off that. I'm gonna do this here, which is a um, eight mil. Um, I gotta get the um, ABS wire out of the way. Going the right way? I don't know, but I can't move it either way. <laughs> okay, I'm just weak. Do it by hand. Let's so put that back in there so we know what where it is. This? Yeah. That's enough. Let's just out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to do this one next. Take the pin out. Easy. Yep. Now we're going to undo this. So we, don't, so we don't undo this all the way, you can get by hand right now. So all we do with this one is we've got to use the ball joint remover. Just get it there so we don't damage the, the thread. Um, if you don't have a ball joint remover, usually sometimes you can give this a, a whack um, and it will release. Give that a... That's right. Hit it a few times, it'll come out. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes that's why I don't like you doing that. So we'll grab the ball joint. Yeah, So it's important here to be careful of not overextending the, 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 the CV shaft, otherwise it will pop out of the inner. So Nathan, you want to keep your hand there to make sure it caves that way.
again, being careful, you don't overextend the shaft. That's EV. Might be a bit overkill on the amount of grease. See the inner seal? Does that show the seal looks okay? So if you're replacing the drive shaft, you would um, pull this out next. So one brand new, one brand new Ford genuine Everest drive shaft. Do that. I think it'll come with a come with a nut. Cheap of them. That's cheap of them. It didn't come with a nut. Like I said, this, this is the genuine Everest one. This is an aftermarket one that actually says it's for a BT50 or a Ranger. Um, I can't see. I mean, all the critical stuff looks the same. I mean, that actually looks like a larger CV joint. That's narrow, smaller. differences here again this is actually smaller so probably less mass than this that's interesting with the little Again, we're making sure we're not overextending this. Making sure that that is in the way.
make sure that it's all sealed up against that nicely. I probably won't re I probably won't um, stop this. I'll keep it exposed so I can see it, and it makes it easier next time if I have to change it ever again. All right, now it's sort of just a case of reversing. Okay, except for that bit where it... Right, so we're just doing everything back up from where it was. So we'll put this one up first. Hang on, I might get this out of the way. Rotor back on. Rotor. Use of 
tools. <laughs> right, that's done up, that's done up, that's done up, that's done up. Drop it down, get the tire on. Um, yep, we'll drop it down, yep, we'll get the tire on. 